hello welcome to this tutorial i'm Maurice dimba and today we are going to continue with our fuel tank roof supporting structure and we'll get started right away if you take a look on the screen here you can see several columns in place and today we are going to put the tie beams for all these columns and uh, if you take a look closer you can see i've already placed some bit of sample of how our tie beams will look like and we are going to use exactly the same so the best tool that will help us distribute or uh, distribute all tie all these tie beams equally in between all these columns uh, will access it right at, at uh, the section and uh, applications and component and it'll go straight here and type polar I just type polar we have polar there and prior to invoking that command let me just turn this around so that we have a look uh, a closer look at this I'll place the tie beams here and we'll just weld them straight to, to, to the column, to the all columns. So what I'm going to do right now, I just double click on this, um, uh, on this uh, polar, array, polar array and pick the options I want. I want to distribute this in between all these columns at same distance. But how many do I want? I want 10 of them at this angle 30. So another option is you can pick here and range picked by points. It's upon you to pick the creation method. And also you can come another, another way of distributing it. You can pick uh, one of the three here. So let me just use the equal distribution by exact angle. So what I'm going to do to do here is just to pick this and define, uh, the parameters in which these will be distributed around so prior to doing that let me just uh, mark the points that will define the distribution of of, of these uh, tie beams so let me just turn it in a position that i'll be able to see it clearly let me just come to uh, this position let me just turn it close so i'll come to edit and i'll just drag this now aside because i'm still working on the point marking i'll come to points here and at any position here i'll pick on that then i want to define that location and also go the way to this location here let me just turn this so that we do this accurately let me come to navigation right there and turn that close and check whether what I'll be you what I'll be doing will be actually correct so we'll target this location this point and this point so I'll come to edit here and come to points and pick at any position I'll snap on that spot and go all the way to snap and I'll go all the way and snap on that spot and I don't think whether it will be accurate uh, this is dependent on how this will look like so let me just turn, come uh, closer and turn this around so that we take a look on which uh, part to use so i'll use these two parts two points this point and that point so i'll come back again and place that point i'll place that point here i'll place it right there and come all the way and place another one right here so we'll try and do and, and and do this just double click on that and we want to select this and that the uh, the the tie beams that we intend to uh, populate in between these columns so once we've done that just press your middle button on the mouse then start defining the parameters in which you you, you intend to distribute these uh, tie beams within so let me just try that and exactly We've created the tie beams that uh, that connect all these uh, b uh, columns. So we have these in place. So the tie beams are in place. Let me just cl click that an OK button right there, and I'll come to navigate. And if you turn like this, you, you can be able to see that all these tie beams are in place and they are held firmly or strongly in their positions. So what I'm going to do now. I'm going to uh, uh, place the rafters here right from the center column here running all, all the way to to uh, I mean on top of these tie beams here now let me come to navigate and uh, just uh, pick the rotation point on the on this center column so what I'm going to do here 
I'll come to beam here and pick on beam and snap at the bottom end here. I'll snap at the bottom end here. This way I want to start my beam though it hasn't picked. That's why you're hearing that bell of notification. So let me just turn it round so that I snap there accurately. So I'm targeting the bottom end here. So I'll snap right there. So I'll try to turn that round so that I stretch out and pick the best location for this. So I'll snap it right here. I'll snap it somewhere here, which is straight, somewhere there, and come to navigate and turn that round like that. I'll turn that round like that, and also I can double click on it because I want it to uh, protrude slightly off the column. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to either use this start end so I can feed here. Maybe I want it to come out by 300 millimeter of the column. So I'm, I'll try and feed. I'll feed 600 millimeter right there, and we'll let it uh, uh, move off the column by it's like, uh, close to 800 millimeter. 800 millimeter. That's okay. An overlap. Perfect. Now let me just zoom out and click outside to deselect that. So I want to distribute this the same way I've just done. So I, I need another one right at the center here. So to locate that, I'll come to beam here and I'll snap right at the center here and locate a midpoint right there and come also here and uh, pick that and also try to locate a midpoint in between the center here and click OK. So I'll come back to steel beam here and pick steel beam, steel, then uh, I'll snap right here and move all the way to this far end here. Perfect. So this should stretch all the way. This should, it should stretch up to that end, but we'll have some rafters from here that will be going straight to to the beam that will be that will be in in a that will be in the same curve with our uh, these uh, steel plates. Now, once you've done that, let me just first of all turn this accurately uh, turn this so that we see if uh, if these are in line, and that's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do here is just to come to polar array here and uh, close that first of all and turn this round so that we mark the points in which we intend this to, to rotate about. So which part or which points do you intend this to? Do you want, do, do you want this to follow? We'll uh, pick these points here. We'll come to uh, this position and that position and this position here. So I'll come to to polar array, then uh, I'll pick on this, then pick on that, then uh, press my mute button on the mouse, then snap on this spot, go and snap on that spot, then come all the way to this end and click that, and you can see our, our rafters already distributed on on top of our tie beams. Now, let me just come to navi uh, view and I want to rotate this like that. And you can see our columns are well distributed on top here and well connected here. You can see that they're well connected on top here. Perfectly well. So what we'll do is just to connect this together to this. Just uh, splice connection between this and that all the columns around so let me just navigate and try and turn this round like that so we'll do the same at this side and prior to doing that we, we need to place uh, a curve a beam that will be will follow the curvature of this plate but it will be on top of these on top of these calls uh, on top of these uh, plate 
so this is how it's done let me just first of all close that and come to navigate here and we can rotate this and i think you've mastered how to do this and thanks a lot for watching this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and let's meet then on the next uh, uh, step for this work bye bye and let's meet then and don't forget to subscribe subscribe i'm morris dimba and bye bye once again